This is where it all started for Oxford United, the Britannia pub in Headington. It happened in 1893. For the next 108 years, we were at the Manor ground. I'm here with historian Martin Brodetsky. We're going to see what's happened to the Manor in the 20 years since then. Yeah, Oxford United formed in the Britannia Inn. Uh, there was a meeting on October the 27th, 1893, when they decided to form the club. So this pub is uh, historically linked to from the very beginning of the club, of course, Eddington was called in the early days. Uh, moved into the Manor in 1925, uh, there until 20 years ago today. The straight opposite the Britannia, over the road, on the corner of London Road. And what was this building behind us? Now Framing Gallery, this used to be the official club shop where you cover all your replica shirts, uh, back programs, all that sort of thing. As you can hear rather than see on the camera, it's still a really busy area, isn't it? It is. Well, London Road is still really the main route out of Oxford to the M40. Uh, there's a lot of shops around here as well. So, yeah, it's a very busy part. The old, the old Café Noir behind us, I enjoyed myself in there. Come on, let's go and have a look down the London Road. Yeah. We're now, blimey, this is bringing back a few memories, this. Yes. First of all, what used to be behind us? Well, there used to be this big golden arch at the entranceway where heralding your entrance into the manor. This lane, and that wall black but close up and just didn't have a name back in the day, just the road way up to the London Road. And, uh, yeah, and that is the way that sports would come on the... Just a very scruffy bloke in a leather jacket selling the fanzine. Who was that? Uh, I made my name, I suppose it would be. The problem walking up here is now what looks to me like a football stadium. The back of a football stadium right in front of us. We're back. I'm the right side. I'm the left side. This is the London Road stand behind us. It's not now, is it? It's, it's a, a, a red brick hospital. That's right, a private hospital. Or the Manor Hospital, of course. Uh, um, it's evocative, and I can picture what was here. But it's not quite how I remember anything. No, uh, well, everything uh, has been raised and uh, new buildings put in. Flats just uh, the other side of the camera, where they used to be the support stuff in the ticket office. Twenty years ago, almost to the day, I started work here, and uh, my office was right behind here. It was terrible. It was really infested with everything you could possibly imagine. The camera follows me. This area here. Ten years ago, this wasn't here. I came back with uh, Jack Casley, our first professional. This was the supporters area, uh, supporters bar here, supporters club, and the ticket office was just here as well. So um, it's gone. And then these uh, flats—I don't know if they're for the staff here. I don't know, but they're here now. Let's go and look at the other stands. Here we are, look, walking along behind the London Road. The part of the problem, as Martin alluded to, we couldn't stay here. As we walk past the camera, you will see. This is what the car park was. This is this number of cars was what was available at the time. There's 2,000 at the Kazam Stadium. Just coping. The houses up uh, behind us here. It's quite hemmed in, isn't it? So that's the beach road uh, that we're coming to. It's a leafy suburb of Oxford. It's not really what a modern football ground is. There's not really anything left of the manor ground. The only thing there is is up behind us. It's a mural, a mural depicting fans and the support of the local community for their football club. It's the only small reminder, really, of where we want to live. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's uh, part of the planning concept for the hospital that they have to include something to remember the manor by. Here we are on Beach Road, which leads up to the old main stand. Uh, Ron Atkinson, I know, was fooled when he came up. He couldn't believe there was a football ground. It's an area quite like this. It's lovely, but I'm not sure there are many grounds in, in 2021 that are this close to houses. Especially such sort of well-to-do houses. Most grounds are sort of used to be sort of had like terraced houses, working class people. Oxford, of course, not the same. We made our way past the beach road, which is the main, main stand. When was that built? Uh, 1956 it was built. Um, it was again built uh, by supporters who uh, you know, put them together and uh, improved the ground. At this time it was the only bit of seating in the stadium. You were a beach roader for a time, weren't you? For a little while, yeah, the first year of the, of the top flight on the beach road, on the top, not in the seats in there. <laughs> the first flight. year of the top flight, you yeah. got in where you could get in, basically, because right. uh, we were a bit oversubscribed that season. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, that fact, the first season I had a season ticket, so I was just you know, easy enough to rock up any other season. So. Unbelievable. No, I came here from, uh, I, was a, I was a baby, but I came in 1970, I think, is probably my first game, so by the 80s, I've, I've been coming quite a lot by then. So the player's entrance was where the blue bit is there, where it's the hospital entrance now. Um, and then uh, walking this way around, there was a tiny little lane where we couldn't have walked side by side as we are now, where the Cuckoo Lane is, the away end, which yeah. uh, 
it, it was um, infamous, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was uh, not the most popular terrace for away supporters. Uh, open to the elements and uh, a strange kind of wedge shaped. But there was also Leeds United decided to throw most of the Cuckoo Lane uh, terrace onto the pitch at one point. That was a good game. That was a very good game. We I played Peter Lorimer. Yeah. Uh, doing that. Two 0 down. One five two. this season, how do you stop John Aldridge? So 20 years ago, to this day, I was walking down this exact path to get into the Oxford Road stand, typically Oxford United, the last game at the Manor didn't go quite to plan, did it? Not quite to plan, no, we were actually took the lead, and it's got score, and everyone thought, hooray, we're going to start off in style, uh, but they uh, put Vail for the equalise, which was pretty mean. It's kind of typical of our season, the last season at the Manor, we managed to get relegated, conceded over 100 goals, Nothing really went to plan. No, it was a pretty dismal season altogether, really. It was the first season back in uh, the bottom flight uh, for over 40 years. And uh, yeah, it's equal all the end of uh, 86 years at the Manor. Signed up for fireworks, I remember. And there was yeah. a charity game after it for the Milk Cup. I played in that, yeah. There was still one game to go, just fans playing on the pitch, and the old boys came back. We did mark it in some style. 20 years, where have you gone? <laughs> Thank you for watching United. Of, uh, an era really, so many years playing here, I mean I haven't been coming for that long, but it's been really good. So.